nothing can uh, add this uh, moment which lasts over ten minutes, but such a heavenly uh, and so true. The emotion is so true. Uh, yeah, you are really face to yourself. And I think Beethoven was one, well, all the great work. It becomes rather confessional, and I think he just said what he felt. Yeah, it's great moment. Yeah. No, <laughs> I can't. You know because yeah, many times the people ask me, "Can you hear you straight? I can you just play." I never could, I never could. Um, I know a friend of mine, after I recorded, I think it was not even Beethoven, I think it was Schubert, um, one CD, and I gave it to him and asked his opinion about how he felt. And I waited, I waited, I waited. And, uh, he didn't answer. He didn't even say he received this, this. And I started wondering why he hasn't answered. Later, he answered me saying that he cannot listen to music if he is not prepared. And he had, um, and he didn't want to hear by himself. He wanted to have another musician who he trust and hear together and uh, find the moment it took him time and uh, and you he need to hear several times before he says anything that's why it took time for me to play it, I need preparation mental preparation more than anything else uh, that's why I couldn't play two measures here, two measures there. I never could. Yeah.我我之前搞这个节目的问题，就是后面就是说，如果是哪一段旋律特别擅长的时候，别最美，别断，你想要去出来。啊，当我们刚刚说的时候，就擅长的时候太多美丽的片刻，真的是可以选一段
，那在禅根里面就会把他的所有经历过的事情都告诉你，真的太了不起了，包含音乐啊，我自己就是光是这样想就想到音乐，就哇，然后那个那个那个慢板乐章大概就长达十八分钟。就是，比如说之前的作品，你说《月光奏鸣曲》吧，也才全部加起来也才十十六分钟或怎么样，那一个乐章可能十八分钟，然后整个加起来四十分钟的一个钢琴奏鸣曲，那现在放眼整个音乐史也没有什么钢琴独奏曲四十五分钟，更别说一个奏鸣曲四十五分钟。那各位写那个曲子的时候，比如八八年。没有作品，就是对，就是那那整个英雄交响曲全部演奏完，当时世界上最长的交响曲也才五十多分钟哦，这样子，那那个奏鸣曲就四十五分钟，就但这是一个不可思议的作品啊，非常难，技术也难，音乐也难，但是你要愿意听的话，你发现说真的是有最值、最诚挚的悲欢在那个里面，真的交代了这一切，所以啊，那那个曲子真的是。现在能够弹的人多了，因为大家技术进步了。但是那个音乐，哦，这个贝多芬自己说，这个音乐可能要用五十年的时间，啊，对不对？啊，我们期待啊，就是十二月二十二号，刚刚刚就特别提到这首第二十九号钢琴奏曲第三乐章，他觉得说那里有贝多芬最美最美的音乐那种感觉的话，那希望大家不要错过这一场。嗯